So a partial derivative. This is now going to be, instead of for A, this is going to be for B, partial derivative with respect to Y of the same function here. So again, um, originally it doesn't change. E to the x squared minus y to the fourth. But then we have to multiply by the derivative of the exponent with respect to y, which is going to be negative 4y cubed. So there is our partial derivative with respect to y. Let's go ahead and simplify. Negative 4y cubed e to the x squared minus y to the fourth. Now we go ahead and plug in the point uh, 1, negative 1 again. So equals negative 4 times negative 1 cubed e, and then remember we did uh, 1 squared minus negative 1 to the fourth. All right, so negative 1 cubed is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4. And then e, and we did this before, 1 minus negative 1 to the 4th is 1, so 1 minus 1, um, which means we've got uh, e to the 0 here, because 1 minus 1 is 0. Um, e to the 0 is 1, so that's 4 times 1, which is 4. So we solved for b, we got 4. So there we go. Um, that's everything that we needed to do. So now, our final step is to write this whole equation out and simplify. So we have z minus 1, remember we, we plugged in the, original, the, the point to the original function for z1, and we got 1. We solve for slope in the x direction by taking the partial derivative with respect to x, and then plugging in the point to get a, which was 2. And remember, we're leaving z, x, and y intact. So x, the point that, we're, that we were given, um, the x term is 1, plus we took the partial derivative with respect to y and plugged in the point 1, negative 1, and we got 4 for b here. We're leaving y alone, and our, our um, y point here is negative 1. So we would have minus negative 1, but, of course, that is a plus one, so let's just go ahead and write plus. So you could leave this equation exactly as it is, and it would be completely sufficient. You could also um, move this one over, and you'd have z equals 2 times x minus 1 plus 4 times y plus 1 plus 1. It's also written in that form. A lot of people like to do it this way. Simplify z um, equals, I'm going to move that over later, Multiply everything out. 2x minus 2 plus 4y plus 4. And then, of course, add the 1 over. Um, because as you can see, this is going to turn into something much simpler. So z equals, we always do x's first, 2x, then y's, plus 4y. And then we have minus 2 plus 4 is plus 2, plus 1 is plus 3. So this way or this way doesn't matter. Um, both are, are perfectly acceptable, but um, that's your final answer. Thanks, guys.